Welcome back to the uh, channel. Uh, we don't update very often, but uh, sometimes I'll shoot a video of something that uh, catches my attention. I uh, purchased this uh, rod bunk box for my personal use for when we go camping. We don't do a whole lot of fishing, but when we do, our uh, stuff's always getting tangled up. And despite trying to find reviews on YouTube, the only reviewers were people ice fishing. And so all the reviews for this box are based on using it for ice fishing poles. Well, I don't do any ice fishing. I do some shore fishing and some boat fishing. It's got some pretty heavy duty latches and a little lock clip, lock clip on both sides. And inside, you'll find that I have four full-size fishing poles. The document for this particular case says that it'll take a uh, six foot four inch fishing pole, but the case overall length in the corners, you see the corners are a little bit deeper than the middle, uh, will take 44 inches. So it depends upon where your pole breaks in half. Now these poles are cheap, dirty and well used and they're mine and my kids and when we go camping this is going to go in the camper or the truck so for me it's utilitarian and I just wanted there to be more information about this particular product for people who don't uh, ice fish. One of the things I really found interesting was these uh, foam blocks are movable between the different slots here to accommodate where your reel is so this this rod has a different reel placement than the other ones and so I had to move this block back a little ways to accept that reel this block came default up here in this slot that was okay for the other poles but when I went to put this one in I needed to move it so this block got slid back a little ways in the end here I've got some regular old fishing sleeves so this goes over the pole when it's on the boat if you're on a boat so they don't get tangled up but uh, when we're traveling to and from a location I'm gonna put them in this box and um, the only thing you can't put in this box as I found is uh, bait caster poles don't break in half it's either got to be a short pole 44 inches or it's got to be able to break in half and so that's what I'm using, just regular old fishing poles that have uh, a split in the middle. 